Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Coffee Break. My name is Alfred Mugo and yes, I am back, I'm still alive, still making videos. I've just been busy with work and Thanksgiving and everything. And speaking of work, let's dive in to today's video. So I've been working for about two months now and it has been great. I love consulting, I love the company I'm working for, and I love the team and the people I'm working with on a daily basis. But I'd be completely lying if I said that it has been completely smooth sailing. It's been a huge, huge learning curve. And today I want to talk to you about some of the top five challenges that I have faced these last two months. And maybe I can provide some clarity for you in terms of maybe you're starting your career, you just graduated. Or I know a lot of you, some of my friends are starting in January, starting to work in January. So let's dive into some of the challenges that I've faced and things that have helped me overcome those challenges along the way. So let's start off with my first challenge and probably a challenge that many of you can relate with. You're all alone. People are the ROI of life and time is the investment. I constantly say that on this channel and it could not be more true today. Simply put, starting your job remotely and having to do everything from a screen has not been the best experience. The onboarding team did a great and remarkable job getting us connected across all the other new joiners in the firm, but it suffices to say that nothing can really match that in-person experience that so many of us are yearning for right now. A great suggestion I got for this was to simply reach out to your managers, their superiors, or people who been in the company longer than you basically, which is probably most, and ask them who are the 10 people they would recommend you reach out to who maybe are a great example of people who are successful in their careers or really represent the firm's values. That's a great way to get connected, a great way to meet some people, and also a great way to get exposure to what the best practices are for being successful and being your very best in your new job. This will help you as you eventually return to in-person work. Number two, setting boundaries. Working from home has the added luxury of giving you the flexibility to maybe work out more or not have to dress up as nice and even break up your workday with other activities. The downside is, and I've been noticing this myself, is that it's easier to just stay plugged in all day. It seems everyone is just a ping or a message or an email away and calendar invites basically control your schedule. If you're not careful, you could see yourself forgetting to give yourself time to go to the bathroom or eat your lunch and just take the much needed breaks from our screens. What I've found is the calendar is a double-edged sword, right? On one end, it allows you to be very productive and organized, right? A good, good employee or whatever you want to call it. On the other end, <laughs> can allow you to easily, easily get burned out, right? So what I've done is I've used my calendar and taken control of it. Simple as that. By setting aside dedicated time, maybe one to two hours of focused work. By doing this and protecting my time, it's allowed me to even put in times for maybe short be well, work well walks around the neighborhood so that I'm leaving my workplace a little bit and changing the environment. I think small things like this and taking control of your calendar can make a huge, huge difference in your day-to-day -day workflow. I mean, something else that's super simple is just to communicate with your manager and your team about your work and your life. Being clear and setting expectations will help reduce conflicts and frustration on both ends of the plate. Set boundaries. Number three is managing your time. On one end, working from home is great because you have more control over your time and you have the flexibility to do other things throughout the day. The downside is sometimes with all this autonomy and being alone, it can be hard to really prioritize what exactly you need to do. Without the normal banter of the team and in-person guidance, it can be difficult to do that extra step of reaching out for help and raising your hand in that Zoom meeting. In order to manage your time in a new environment and prioritize yourself, it is crucial, crucial, crucial that you reach out for help and you reach out to your managers and communicate them with what you need. Right, Get that support. It's so, so important. As new joiners, it's very easy for us to not have the confidence to really speak up and raise our hand when we need help. But it is crucial because especially now as we're more autonomous, it can be easy to fall into a slump and not be productive for hours on end and then figure out at the end of the day you've not done anything and then your team is frustrated with you or your manager is frustrated with you. So take that extra step. We all want to hit the ground running. Yes, that's the goal for 
all high achievers, but at the same time, sometimes you just need to learn to take those baby steps first and put your ego aside and just learn and soak things up, right? Soak things up. Number four is having destinations. One of the best things about working from home is the commute, or more so, the lack of a commute. It's usually just a couple feet for most people. <laughs> While this is great and saves us a ton of time not sitting in traffic or waiting on the bus, the downside is it's easier for us than ever before to be stuck at home all day, not venturing outside for even days at a time. Apps like Uber Eats and HelloFresh have made this easier than ever before. Even with COVID restrictions, it's important that we take our physical and mental health into our own hands. You see, it's as simple as maybe you're going to the gym before obviously the gym's closed, Maybe you're going to the gym every morning, or maybe it's that trip to the grocery store at the end of the day. Or maybe it's as simple as taking a step outside your house for 10 minutes between a meeting. Simple things like these will help change your environment and keep things interesting for you and allow you to be more focused. And number five, finally, investing in your workspace. Many of us are struggling to work from home simply because we just don't have the space. People are working from their bedrooms, their kitchen counters, and it doesn't feel natural for many of us. While this could be a limitation that is of course hard to overcome, be intentional about looking for ways to upskill your workspace and make it easier for you to be more productive and for you to be more separated. Personally, I'm lucky enough to have enough space for a desk and over the last few months have made some small purchases that have made a sizable difference to my workflow. One of the things I recently got actually was a standing desk and this has made a huge difference in terms of my energy every single day, especially during the evening slump that comes with, you know, that cup of coffee wearing off a little bit. And the last thing I got and has probably been the best, the absolute best purchase I have made this year and it was only $30 were these amazing blue light glasses from Gunner, Gunner Optics. And I, I put the link down below for you guys for your reference. But these glasses have seriously changed how I work and changed how I did school. Because after a whole day of staring at the screen, I didn't have headaches, my eyes weren't strained, I just felt like I could keep on going, which in a lot of times and a lot of days was completely necessary. So these have been a lifesaver, definitely the best purchase I've made during this quarantine. So ladies and gentlemen, those are my top five things five challenges I've been facing during this quarantine period and starting work remotely and everything. And I hope that some of these, you know, are contextual to you and can provide some value and improve your life in some way. Maybe it's a tip that you give to one of your friends or something. My theory and my default is action, taking action, right? The whole theme of this channel is the year of action. I know 2020 has been a whirlwind for everybody, but I wanna first thank you all for being on this journey with me um, and taking action even during these difficult times. And for second, being resilient and looking forward to 2021 and all the joy and cheer and I'm sure change that will bring. For some of us, just having the hard reset will really, really help. So as you all begin on your working journeys or wherever you are in life, <laughs> Just be ready to be flexible, be ready to be adaptable, because that's one of the most important skills I have learned this year, as I'm sure all of you have as well. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to leave a comment, like, share this video, and as always, remember that every single day is a miracle. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.